Hey, what's up? So I want to talk to you a little bit about food service in the sea store industry. And when I talk about food service, I'm talking about every aspect of food, whether it's beverage, food, whatever. So as I move around throughout, especially Kentucky and Tennessee, I work with customers all over the place. Um, I'm finding that there are limiting beliefs everywhere within different sea store owners that think that food service doesn't work for them or isn't necessary maybe in their location. And, you know, I'm not finding a situation truly where, yes, 100% that's the case. Um, there may be people that say that that's the case, but at the end of the day, there's some underlying issues in there. And food service and the food service profitability that goes with it takes work. It's not easy. It takes labor dedication, time dedication, quality dedication, systems and process dedication. It takes dedication. But I wanna share this with you. Every single successful C store in the marketplace right now is focused on coffee, beverage, food, pizza, you know, even grab and go, warm it up in the microwave on your own, and even cold, healthy foods like fruits and vegetables and subs and stuff like that. And I mean, I, I do, I continue to encounter C store after C store after C store where food service either is an afterthought and it's suffering or it's been removed or certain C store owners take it completely out, never actually do it when they take over a store and completely remove it. Your C store is a habitual destination, especially if you're in a, a, a rural or a small town. People come to your store, A, because they pass by it, B, because you have what they want, and C, because you have the conveniences of everything that they want. Does that make sense? So when you say to me that you don't sell any coffee, so it's time to take it out, I could probably find reasons to justify you doing that as well without digging into the details, without digging into, you know, even asking people within the community why they don't buy coffee in your store. But at the end of the day, food service and hot beverage like coffee come down to this. Did you ever get fully committed? And that means, did you ever fully invest in everything that you needed? Did you ever fully invest in some kind of loyalty program? Did you ever fully invest in talking to your customers about what they needed with their coffee? Did you ever fully invest in running an ad or doing anything within your local area to grow that business completely? What you have to understand is when you take on a new adventure within your C store, you have a reputation in your area for either being lazy or going all in and having an amazing offering. And what I'm finding with a lot of places that tend to quit food service and quit some of your better beverage offerings is that they never truly focused on the category. They never truly went all in. And I understand there are ways right now to make some limited time money. You know, I know these e-cigs and some of these little vapes and all these things. It is an absolute way to make some quick cash right now. Uh, it's easy to get into. There's really no regulations, but that's just it. Really soon, as we find out, as scientists do tests and experiments and they find out how these things affect your body and there's continued legislation on these things being targeting young teenagers and kids who it's illegal for them to buy anyway, and I do know this, some of you guys that own C-stores are selling stuff to, to minors, to teenagers illegally. I, I have seen it. Um, so if, if, if you're gonna do that, you have a whole nother issue in your business uh, because at any point you could be shut down. When the wrong person sees that and the FBI comes in and wants your camera system and they're gonna see that you sold that, they will close you down. 
So if that's what you're doing, you better stop now. And that's just a word of advice. But at the end of the day, yes, you can make some quick cash on some of these things. And they are popular right now. It's the craze, just like the silly bands were in the early 2000s or mid to, mid 2010s or whatever. They came and they went. That fad went. As regulations and laws change, I personally think that e-cigs and vapes will have limited flavors and and maybe even go away. And I don't know how long that's going to take, but it, you know, there there would definitely be some changes to where it only appeals to the adult smoker. And so, what's that going to do to your profitability? It's going to shrink that category once again just like kind of is going on with all these e-cig talks and all that, and even the flavored cigarettes, the menthols and, and all these different things. But my point is, is if you're not succeeding in food service and beverage, it's not because the market doesn't want it. Because every single C store out there that focuses on it, wins with it. If they have the right people running the store and the right quality of product going out the door, point blank. So stop limiting yourself and thinking that, you know, food service and a great coffee bar is not the way to go. Because I promise you this, if you want consistent customer loyalty, consistent profit and even potential for profit growth, and you want to make more money and get more customers, there is nothing that you can invest in more than food service and coffee. There's nothing. And I don't even sell those, well, I sell food service, but I don't sell coffee, but here I am telling you to get it. You know, that should validate, you know, exactly what I'm telling you. Um, and I'm a coffee drinker. I've got my cup right here. One cup a day in the morning, one cup a day in the afternoon. I got to get my caffeine in both times. And there's a lot of people out there like that. You don't think so? Go to Instagram and just search hashtag coffee and see how many posts and followers and all the in, all the information that's going on there. Google coffee, and you'll see that all these things are, a coffee is a cat, it's like Nike. Coffee is coffee. People crave about coffee and energy. It is a huge part of the business. So if, my point is, and, and the purpose of this rant is, 99.9% .9 of the times when I find a C-store who's suffering in coffee and they're suffering in food service, it all comes back to, are you truly invested in executing, in quality, in consistency, and are you willing to lose a little bit of money up front? And when I say lose a little bit of money, I mean, in order to have a stellar food service business, especially if you have a bad reputation, you're going to have to throw away some food the first several days, weeks, whatever. And if you run some Facebook ads and do some things in your community to get the word out there of what you're doing, that'll help you. That'll actually help you soften the blow on some of the loss that you can take. But my point is, as I keep saying, food service is the way to go, not just pizza. Pizza will come and go quick. People will get tired of it. It's it's a pigeonhole category. You have to have multiple offerings. You can't just have pizza. Go to pizza subs. Do you know chicken wings and do some other things that'll help add more selection to the category. But don't pigeonhole yourself in food service. And make sure you're focused on quality, consistent, excellent. Um, rock star coffee bars. Those two are some of the most high profit areas in your convenience store. So I just wanted to share that with you because like I said, I am, I'm encountering a lot. I went into a store yesterday, cold calling. I always talk about uh, customer service. God never even spoke to me. And then he stared at me the whole time I was in the store. Then I go up to his the counter and he doesn't want to answer my questions. Um, got a hot food program there. Never even offered it to me and I was looking at it. And quite frankly, I wouldn't have ate anything out of that hot bar anyway, just because it, you could tell that nobody's really invested in doing food service there. So all these things I tell you about, it's the psychology of customers and it takes time. 
And if you're digging yourself a hole every day because you're not taking care of your customers, it's gonna be harder for you to dig out, but you can. You just got to make a real effort to do it. So just wanna share this little rant with you guys. Like I said, it's, it, it's, it's so important. I mean, the number one industry category right now is food service and, and beverage. I mean, it's number one. They go hand in hand because they draw loyal customers every single day. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully uh, you gain some information from it. As always, please reach out. If you got questions, concerns, comments, you want to talk, I'm here. Let's do it. Have a great day.